Hi, and welcome to Williams TV here in the paddock in Barcelona. Uh, Robert Kubica, you have finally driven a car, which is a, a change for our Facebook Live. So, how was this morning? Yeah, sunny, quite warm, and uh, a bit emotional because in the end, uh, first time after since uh, 2010 Abu Dhabi in uh, official uh, session during a Grand Prix weekend. Uh, it was an easy session, uh, but uh, this we, we could expect. Actually, it was even more difficult than expected. But uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, we or I limited uh, damages, uh, which is a good point already. Uh, and uh, yeah, we did. Uh, I have quite clear idea of uh, what's going on. So Hi. yeah. Oh, hello. Uh, he's the man. It's sort of he's the, the show. Here. So um, was, he, was he useful this morning? I'm asking you, was he ah, useful it, for you this morning? But we don't work together uh, oh, okay. while I'm so, driving. So that's a no. no. No, he's always useful, but not directly to me. What was the most useful thing Smedley told you today? Uh, that the weather is uh, will stay consistent through weekend. So that's a, so that's a, a good good sign, no, apart from joking. Uh, no, we have a daily morning briefing uh, where uh, Rob is covering all the details and uh, leading the engineering group. Uh, so uh, yeah, we are trying to cover as much as we can and trying to uh, be clever and uh, anticipate uh, what will uh, be in uh, in the sessions and uh, was our plan. So um, just before we pull Rob into it, what was it like? Because it was very windy. Other drivers we saw going off, and it looked like it was tricky out there for everyone. Um, you know, obviously you talked about the emotional side of things, but after half a lap, I guess the emotions go away and it becomes yes. down to work. Yeah, I realized uh, after a few corners that it would be a difficult session. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> emotions were, uh, were gone. Uh, no, part of, uh, you know, for me it was not easy because uh, having been in the car more than two months, uh, uh, the wind doesn't help, uh, conditions were pretty difficult. Uh, the balance was not the easiest, uh, but we had to s somehow stick to what we plan uh, due to our RO uh, tests and okay. evaluations, so we couldn't change uh, massively the car. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, still we get some data, and uh, this was kind of a beginning of our uh, program, which we will continue next week uh, when I will be in the car on Wednesday. Uh, so yeah, uh, at least we have uh, some ideas. So this is a good warm-up for like? you for Wednesday. You like um, yeah. Should we ask him some questions now? Yeah, then I have to What do you say, have to do? Hasta luego, or hasta la vista. I are you go. going? Why? Yeah. Why are you going? Why? You're not allowed my, to go. My time is over. No, Rob's got some questions for you. <laughs> so, Your time is never uh, over. Rob, how did he do this morning? He uh, did a great job. did a really good job, um, as we would expect of him. Um, nothing less. You know, um, struggling with the the overall car balance absolutely on on both cars i think it's a bit of a feature you know we've got some objective data that we've pulled off the cars that would probably guide us as to to where we need to be working um but definitely you know the work that robert did this morning in in testing the new aero parts um was um really really useful for us as he, as he mentioned it's you know and as we talked about this morning in the briefing this really is the the baseline a lot of the work that we're doing here is a baseline for for next week when he's back in the car for for the third test of the season and that that that's really a of major importance to us for, for turning things around now, I mean just for the fans that don't understand and you know there's teams up and down the pit lane who've all brought varying degrees of updates um, you guys are focusing quite heavily on next week's test where obviously Robert's gonna be in the car Oliver rolling in the car um, can you explain a little bit about how this, the Williams recovery plan and, and all these bits for next week, how's that plan coming along? Well, it's, it's all part of the, it's all part of the, 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 the one project really. You know, we have, we have a project, that project is, is, is clearly well defined in the areas that we need to work on. You know, I'm not going to go into all the details obviously of every, every bit of the project, but I think we've identified, you know, where the weakest areas are and also not only the weakest areas, but where the, the highest um, returns will be in the shortest space of time. 
Um, that project is is well underway. It has been um, since since Bahrain, since the second race of the season. Um, and next week, the test next week, we'll be doing a lot of aerodynamic testing um, in order to to understand the various aspects and parts of the car. And it's all part of the, the of this ongoing recovery. And, and hopefully that that teaches us something. You know, you can't say that we're going to go to Monaco with something which is I can't shut up now, no. which is going to be be transformative. Um, we won't have that, definitely not. But what we will do is we'll see, we'll just see constant improvement. So I'll let you think about your fun fact for Spain that you've got to tell us, or your favourite moments of the Spanish Grand Prix. You've been to a lot of them. Um, Robert, I know you're trying to run away with your Italian friends. Uh, you're not allowed to. But you're not allowed to. Yeah. Um, listen, what, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's a strange feeling, isn't it? I've been on both sides where you do FP1 in someone else's car, but also the Sergei situation where you had someone else drive and then you're standing around. Um, you know, it's a, what, you know, for the rest of the weekend, it's a bit odd, isn't it? Because you got out of the car now and you're yeah, sort of but hanging you around. Have to, you know, since, since uh, I'm always happy man. You're always a happy man. <laughs> well, are you? <laughs> uh, but you know, it's, it, it has been uh, since beginning. Well, when, when I decide to go for this opportunity, I knew how it will be. So uh, I make my mind and uh, I accept it. And uh, honestly, we are not having an easy time. Uh, but still, there are moments where you have to enjoy what you are doing, and uh, uh, you know uh, there is a golden rule in Formula One that if the car is performing well, engineers, drivers, hospital, food is good, uh, travel office is good, mechanics are good. Same people, the car is two seconds off the pace. Engineers are not good, not understanding how to explore the, the car. Drivers are making mistakes. We don't know how to warm up the tires. The food is terrible. Travel office is bad because you have to wait for uh, four hours in the lounge in uh, Dubai. So, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, so we are not having... He's always happy. So we are not having an uh, easy time, but uh, it's important we, we stick together. And, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, if we manage to improve, uh, we will be more, uh, it will be a good satisfaction for us. And I'm happy to uh, be part of it and uh, happy to help if I'm helping. I don't know. Is he helping? Uh, he's uh, helping massively. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> he's helping massively. Okay, yeah. I go. I don't like when people go. talk about me. Bye bye. Well, we'll talk about you anyway, but just behind your back. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> go on then. Is he helping? Yeah, he's helping. Of course, he's helping. I mean, he's to, to have that experience, you know, um, within the team when we've got two young drivers. Um, it just just makes the whole thing a lot easier for us, um, a lot better, and to get him back in the car and you know after after the last time he was in the car was he went to testing and get his feedback on, on where the car's gone and you know where it's improved, where we still need to work, that, that's all important. Yeah. So what's your favourite Spanish Grand Prix moment then? Oh my favourite Spanish Grand Prix moment um, is, it's not, it's not the fun fact, but my favourite Spanish Grand Prix moment was um, I think 2007 when there was a young lad, Phil Massa, uh, pole position, fastest lap, and race win. It was a good weekend, the, wasn't it? The triple crown, yeah, it was a good weekend. Um, the fun fact involves the, the very same um, Felipe Massa. So this, this is a good fact, actually. So we come here in 2008 before we went to a slick tyre. And we had the Bridgeton tyre, which was a great tyre um, of that year. They got a great construction. And as all they did was they took a 2008 car, so we were running here testing, and they put um, a a slick on it but they just made a slick with a 2008 tyre which was already a fantastic tyre yeah. and they just made it fully slick rather than a groove yeah. and we were down in the 117s you know we used to run around here in yeah. 121 and we were down here in 117s and he was almost flat from there was a dab on the brakes in turn one then he was through one two three completely flat dab on the brakes in four it was like a fun car That's cool. and, and the fun fact is that he did three laps and got out and said I can't drive it anymore my neck's falling off <laughs> <laughs> very good were you here when Michael Schumacher made his return at the end of 2007 he came back didn't he and drive a Ferrari were you here at that test yes I was but that wasn't his his return there was a, there was a he came uh, and did a one-off test or something wasn't it, it? there was a one there was a there was a test in um, in Mugello before that right okay so that was his real return right okay Anyway. A slight return. A mini return amongst his many, return. amongst his that's, many that's returns. That's a Blue Tone song. Slight return. Very good. Anyway, I'm um, 
Yeah, you are rambling. I'm going to let you go get some lunch. Uh, thank you for joining us at uh, Williams TV, and we will uh, catch up on Sunday. Thanks very much.